Hey everyone, we are talking about the different spheres that we can find on our planet. And I'm going to go through a little presentation here, uh, talk it through, and then you're going to have an assignment after you watch this video. Um, so we're going to start with, here's a picture of Earth. You can see Apollo 17 astronauts captured this snapshot. There's all sorts of different systems that we can see. And those systems come from those states of matter that we talked about. So there's solid, you can see solids on the planet, you can see liquids, and then you know that there are gases that make up our atmosphere. Um, that's where those clouds come from. And there is processes that move energy, so last year you talked about potential and kinetic energy, and materials from one part of the planet to another um, that make up the huge system. So if you've already watched the videos, you know that the four spheres are the geosphere, the hydrosphere, and the atmosphere. And I'm sorry, geosphere, hydrosphere, atmosphere, and biosphere. You can see this nice little picture of a desert climate. I'm going to come down here, I'm going to click the geosphere, and you can see that the geosphere is the rock, the soil. Um, it's also the elements that have been deposited, so gold and diamond, well diamonds aren't elements, but gold and copper and those other things, diamonds would be considered part of the geosphere even though they're not an element in themselves. Um, unclick that. The hydrosphere is the water in on the planet. So it's everything from the oceans, the lakes, the rivers, the water that's underground, the polar ice caps, rain, snow that is trapped in the clouds or on its way down to the geosphere itself. The atmosphere is all the gases, oxygen, nitrogen, carbon dioxide, wind, all that makes up the atmosphere, and that makes, makes sense. And then the biosphere is all the living stuff that most all the biosphere sits on top of the geosphere, um, except for our, our flying friends that can go up into the atmosphere. So what happens is that energy moves from place to place and it happens through the movement of matter. So here you can see a picture of a dam and I, the, the sphere interactions I want you to focus on because this is what I'm going to ask you to do later on. Um, but we can see that humans, which were part of the biosphere, so I'm down here at this first bullet point, humans are part of the biosphere, we're living things. We built a dam out of rock materials which were part of the geosphere. The water, which is in the lake, which is the hydrosphere, seeps into the cliff walls, is evap... Uh, well, if it uh, seeps into the cliff wall, it becomes part under the geosphere, or it evaporates into the atmosphere. The humans take the energy from the water, so the living biosphere takes energy from the hydrosphere and turns turbines, which were made out of the geosphere, to produce electricity. So that's kind of those interactions. It's a process. It's how matter and energy is moving from place to place in that scenario. So we have another example here, this farmland, these plants. We're not going to focus so much on the partner. I want you to focus on the paragraph down below the picture. Uh, plants, living things, part of the biosphere, draw water, the hydrosphere, and nutrients from the soil, when the soil is the geosphere. They release water vapor into the atmosphere. Humans use farm machinery that is manufactured from geosphere materials to plow the fields. Atmosphere brings precipitation, um, water to the plants. Um, energy from the sun is stored in the plants. Humans and animals eat the plants, and they acquire the energy that was captured by the plants. Humans then use this energy to make other stuff, bricks, wood, all those different things, and continue to manipulate the thing, uh, the different spheres using that energy. Your assignment is going to be basically taking one of these pictures and giving us kind of those interactions and I will link this page at the end so you can see this a little bit more but it, you're going to follow exactly along with these directions except you're going to pick one, you're not going to do each one. Um, list the major features, describe the fear, sphere interactions that you can infer from the scene and whenever possible, try to include all four spheres that we're talking about when you're analyzing the picture. And then, um, this is all called Earth Science, and the current balance 
makes it possible for life to flourish. Um, the spheres are all part of interconnected systems and the changes in any sphere can ultimately change the other sphere as well. Um, think about you go out and you look for fossils in our area which would now become part of the geosphere because it's part of the soil and those fossils that we see are aquatic so we used to be part of a shallow sea here and so the water isn't here in the same way so it's affected the biosphere what can live in this area so we can see that you can go out your door and you can find those things and then this says there's six billion people but there's seven billion people and while we think there isn't a huge change when we do something when we make an interaction happen you multiply that by now seven billion people those effects become noticeable so it talks about burning fossil fuels affecting the earth system on a global scale you can see this is a map of the population of the world and if it's going to work for me here we go you can see how the population density is in different areas of the world and you can think about how those densities of populations could be affecting those different spheres. And again, kind of just talks about here's the four spheres, the big ideas, air is atmos, atmosphere, hydro is hydrosphere, bio is biosphere, land is geosphere. Okay, thanks for watching guys.